Today I'm going to show you how to create a Wix shout out or email marketing campaign. <clears throat> so what you want to do is log into your Wix account, click on to where you are on the account website that you want. So where on the right it says email marketing, you want to click on this. And this is the dashboard for your Wix shout out. So what I'm going to do is create a new shout out. So what you want to do is click on the upper right, new shout out. And here are some templates that can help get you started. So let's say I want to do, let's go through all of them real quick. You can even start from scratch. So let's say, let's do this one, send a newsletter. Okay, so this is what the template looks like. It's pretty great looking. Um, you can double click to go in and change out the text, the color of the text. If you click these three dots here, it'll give you more um, formatting options that you can do. Um, on the left hand side, this little plus, you can add text, an image, a button, like a clickable button, a divider, which is kind of like a line that divides the sections, a GIF, I'll go over this in just a second. It's like an animated moving um, preset template that they have, a link, Mix, which is a, I'll go over this as well, where you can have an image and text. You can, okay, logo, I already have my logo here in this section. Video, sign up button, or form, music, and events. So let's go over some of these. So text, if you click on text, it'll just bring up this box here, and you can fill this in with anything you like. I hit cancel to, get out of that. I can insert an image. You can do free from Wix, which is lots of different stock images that in all these different categories on the left, so you can use any of these. There's social images, which are, um, you can pull from your account, from Facebook, from Instagram, Google Drive, Flickr, and Picasa. Big stock images is purchase. You can purchase these images for a few dollars, and they have some pretty great ones in there. So, and they have the categories on the left. So, if you go back to my images on the upper left, I'm going to select one of the ones I have. Now, you can click back on the add. Let's check out what a button is. So, you can add anything you like here. You can link it to a web address um, that it takes you to or an actual document. And let's hit apply. So here's my button. So add, let's see, we wanna add a divider. Now a divider is kinda like a little line. Um, so if you wanna choose your shape, you can click on this, drop down here, choose your shape. And there's all these different options you can pick from. So let's just pick some dots and you can change the color by clicking down on this arrow here. Okay, so you see these dots here? So that just to create it like a little divider. Now let's go back over here to the add and let's go through a few more items. So if you click on GIF, these are Wix free GIFs and if you hover over them, it shows you the effects that they do. Like this one has little stars that sparkle this one has different ice cream pops. So they all have some kind of animated um, option, which are pretty fun um, to do for sales and holidays. So let's just pick one. Okay. And then let's go back over Let's show you what mixed use is. Mixed use, um, so you have an image on one side and your text and a, and a button on the other, 
Now up here, you can pick which one, what style you want. So this has the image on the left. If you click the next one, it has the image on the right. The next one is just two paragraphs of text. This one has the image on the right with no clickable button. See, this one had a clickable button and this one does not. Same thing, image on the left, no button. Two images, two text, and two buttons. And just two images, okay? So let's go back over here. Let's click on sign up. So this is where someone can, um, you can e edit your title, your button text, and a message that says after they click, you can change the design to anything you like on the second button here. Change the text color if you like, or the button text color, the button fill and the color and opacity and border color. Okay, apply. So now they can type in their email address here and click subscribe. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, let's see, you want to do an events. Create a brand new event on Shoutout or add one from Eventbrite. So if you have your Eventbrite account, you can do that as well. Create new events. This is where you can put your venue, your address. You can show it on the map or not. When the event is, the time, time zone, who to contact um, for the event. If you want to RSVP, and this is what it looks like. And then if you scroll back up, you can change the design by clicking on this design button and change the title, the font choice, the text color, the body font, the body text color, and the button color and uh, border. Okay, so we'll cancel all of that and that just removed it. And we're also going to to remove an eye, a section, just click on this red or pink remove button. And if you want to edit it, you just click on the blue edit button and it pops back up into that little editor section. So I'm going to hit cancel this. So if I want to remove this button, just hit the red button. Okay, so I believe that's all. Oh, or you can add music as well. And it adds this playlist. Okay, and so you can change this. You can, um, this is set to set player music to true player. You can add new music. You can change the color of the background to light or dark. So the next button is style. So if you click on that, default style is the overall appearance of the how things appear. You can change it to aux, everything goes black in the background. There's all these different ones that you can choose from. You can go fun, it has like little sparkle things, craft. Let's just go with default, okay? So the next one is, here's the background. So you can change the background to anything you like, or you can add an image, one of the images, images that you have. Um, you can click here on this plus sign and add new images. Let's just do anything here. So you can add new image. So if you added an image, but it's too, to um, too much showing, you can click this gear icon here to go into the image settings, and you can choose whether or not you want it to tile or go full screen, um, the color behind the image, and the opacity. So if you change the opacity, and like let's say you have this color, it'll show a little tint of that color that you pick, um, depending on how you have it. So there's all sorts of backgrounds that they have too, and you can also change the inner background, which is this section around um, the edge. So let's see custom inner background. You can change the opacity. You can add a border. And you can enable the shadow. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So what you want to do is go through your sections 
and change how everything you would like for it to appear. And then drop in all your content here. You can just double click on it and then just swap out your text by hitting delete or whatnot. And you can click on the button. If you want to change the button color, you just hit the design here and you can change the font color or the button color. And then you put the um, link to your web address there. And at the bottom, you have your, you can change your contact information. Um, you can show your address or not, and your website URL and your social media icons. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then to swap out an image on one of these, you just want to click on the edit button to swap it out to something else. Okay, so you can also preview this. By the upper right hand side, click on the preview and test button. And this is how your shout out looks. Okay, so you can click on this orange button back to editing. Not now. On the second screen, you can add recipients, anyone that you have in your list. And then the third one, you, want, you can send your shout out. So I don't want to do that because this shout out's not created how I would want to create one. This is just an example to show you of how um, to do the settings. Now, if you have any questions at all, feel free to comment. Um, if you like this video, please like and share and subscribe. And if you need help creating one of these, I'm more than happy to help you uh, set one of these up. So give me an email on my website, uh, cliftondesigns.com. And I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and have a nice day.